Humans, adolescent dogs undergo significant changes and their nutritional requirements evolve as well. So we are going to turn back to Dr. Judy Morgan, our expert in holistic pet care. Uh, Dr. Judy, you know, adolescent dogs are often described as teenagers. Kind of makes me snicker a little bit. <laughs> What are some of the key nutritional considerations uh, during this stage? So this is the fire stage of life, ah. by the way. Teenagers <laughs> yes. think they're invincible and right. they are willing to try anything. Oh, uh, yes. and these, these guys are energy in motion. So this is, this is kind it. of my puppy that I've had to deal with. And then we got him a friend who's the same age. I don't, I, again. <laughs> Had a moment. Um, oh my. But they ha they have high energy needs, and so and they're growing rapidly. So you may find that during this stage, they actually are burning more calories, and so they may need a little bit more nutrient dense support. Um, but we also want to watch the weight and make sure. I mean, you might have one of those earth constitution yellow lab puppies who's like i don't care um and if he's not being that active then you've you've got to make sure that you're controlling that because we don't want to make them overweight particularly at this stage we don't want extra um weight on the joints and we don't want that to cause problems down the line but they do they do have pretty high energy needs at this stage yes and so if they have these high energy needs we need to get them out and get them moving right dr judy Yes. And it's more than just opening the back door and letting them out in the yard, which, um, you know, yes. like I said, mine might have a wonderful area, but we have a 23 acre farm. So besides going out and racing around and talking to all the farm animals through the fence, they also get to go for leash walks and sniffaris, um, which is so critical. Actually, one of mine likes to go on a peafari, which means he's peeing on every <laughs> single blade of grass on the 23 acres. <laughs> um, oh but it's, it's really critical that mental stimulation for these guys at, at that, at that age. And this, like I said, this is when we want to expose them. I wish I had exposed my puppy when he was in that adolescent mm -hmm. stage, because now now everything is big and new and scary if he goes or he's yes. been out a lot more now um right. but you really want to lay that groundwork and particularly with the adolescents at that point their immune system should be good enough that they can handle going out and and meeting other people and animals and and being able to face new situations but do it carefully and gradually so they don't get scared Yes. And I imagine too, if they're not getting that stimulation, if they're not getting out, is this when you tend to start to see uh, maybe some, some digestion issues as well? Digestion and behavior. And the two are very closely related by the way. Um, yeah. And if we're not getting them out and then also getting them used to being alone a little bit. So this is the other mistake I made. My puppy was never alone. Cause again, he was a COVID baby and everybody was home. And <laughs> so we saw this a lot. Uh, when people went back to work, separation anxiety, these animals have never had to be alone and they don't know how to be alone. Yes. Yeah, so signs of separation anxiety, um, you know, I've had dogs with all different degrees of separation anxiety. Uh, I've had one who, as soon as I left, he would jump up on my bed and pee on it and start howling. And he ate all the woodwork in our apartment. It was oh, no. not fun. My, my little guy now, who's two, um, his separation anxiety is racing circles around oh. our family room kitchen, and he will literally run for three hours. My, just that's go, why go, we got go, him a friend. Go, go. Yeah. But we got our dog a dog. <laughs> They're the same age, right. and the separation anxiety went away. When I leave now, they're just like, okay, we're gonna play with each other. Oh, oh my gosh. So you said, okay, adolescents, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Typically fire. So um, is it in most cases that like feeds like, or would there ever be a time where you think maybe during this stage, um, you might need to change to a different element or what should we keep on our radar when we're taking this into consideration? So no matter what their personality is, this is the fire stage of life. Um, so the, the baby puppies, those are the wood stage of life. So we, we take in their personality and then we also take the stage of life and then we take the season. There's so many things that can yes. play into it. And then we go into that teenage crazy fire stage where <laughs> everything's in motion. Yes. Um, so like treats like, so, uh, uh, the element of fire is ruled by the heart. So feeding heart treats or having heart as part of the diet can be very helpful. 
But this is also where we might want to look at the water constitution and say, you know what, we got to control that fire a little bit. We got to bring it down. So we're just going to put a water hose on it for a little bit um, just to kind of kind of keep things in check a little bit. Um, and, you know, you don't have to use the, I mean, I love, obviously, the all provide constitutions, but if yes. you're feeding a different brand of food, you can look on our website and we also have courses on this where you can learn about which foods help the water element, which foods help the fire element. And so you can look at that and say, well, I'm feeding X brand of food and they happen to have a recipe that has these ingredients that are listed as being helpful for this. So maybe I should feed that for a little while. And then, you know, when the season changes or when the age changes, then, you know, we can switch to something different because I don't recommend feeding the same thing all the time. Okay. Super, super helpful information regarding our adolescents, Dr. Judy. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching this dog mom news clip. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome and informative dog mom news content. And while you're at it, ring the bell so that you can find out about more content in real time. You don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching everyone.